what's up guys we're back here at my channel we're gonna do something new um, for my new channel for our, my channel basically we haven't done anything like this which we kind of want to do like a quick summary or like a quick thought I don't want to say review because we're not gonna go every single detail in this video about the Witcher series on Netflix uh, we would love to but we'll be here like hours or some of that but we're just gonna give you our initial thoughts of season one and what we think about it we're gonna start off with my brother Jesse right here and what did you think about it well all right let's try to I don't simplify it or get some get a ground base on it so I would say first of all if I could rate it I can rate yeah we're gonna give the, it a rate the, yeah. the, the Witcher I would probably one out of ten uh, I would rate it an eight an eight because I think all right all right all right, all right I think the, the Witcher is a great show has great story has good characters I wouldn't say great characters but it has really great potential it's a, it's a great base it's like a great start off for season two and I'm ashamed to say that I haven't played the game so sorry about that but judging from just a viewer coming into the show you know without any of the backstory or any of the lore it's it's exciting you know you can really get into it it doesn't complicate it as much but one of the issues that I do have with The Witcher and I think I have expressed it to uh, Robert yep. um, is that I don't like the jumping around I, I know they yeah, were trying I know they were trying it's to tough because they were I mean like you know they, they, they need to introduce these characters but it also felt like there's a lot there's a lot going on mm. because like you were saying they're, they're jumping to all these mm -hmm. different stories and if you're not like you're saying in your case you didn't play the games yeah I kind of knew who these characters were already because I did play the last game at least but I kind of was already introduced them through the games but if you're not like in your case you're like oh damn you have to really like okay who's this person and it's a little harder basically yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so like the the jumping around I felt like it, they should have done it very linear instead of trying to I guess Try, trying to express a story in a mysterious, even and even like in an artistic directing standpoint, it should have gone linear, you know, for like from the beginning of the tale of you know Geralt, you know, starting in the in the kingdom and figuring out what's going on with yeah. the princess, you know, it, I mean, it, it's queen. hard. It's they, hard. They, they should it's have kind of hard. Done it linear instead of jumping around. Uh, even for me, it's a little hard because. Uh, um, I had to kind of get a recap on, of course, I played the game like part three years ago. So, you know, I had to bring up like, who is this person? Who is this person right here? So I did have to kind of like, I'm rewatching it again. So I'm getting like, I'm catching things I missed. And it's definitely, I, I would suggest if you have watched it, watch it again. Cause you're going to pick up on things you missed for sure. So you give it an eight out of 10. Yeah. I give it an eight out of 10. It's definitely a very solid base. For the uh, for the series to start off on and and uh, Henry you know Cavio he did a great job as The Witcher uh, yeah. so oh, people the are, are seeing the, the, the change in lighting because we we're having uh, it's actually happening happening New Year's Eve so technical there's there's a te technical difficulty we're about to record we have like three little kids running around yeah. outside your door right yeah. here but anyways we're gonna jump onto our brother Rob right here. Um, what did you think? Your initial thoughts and your score. Uh, it's New Year's. Cheers, mate. Not nice. New Year's. <laughs> um, I yeah, I saw the. Uh, I played the game. Uh, I played the Witcher three. I didn't play Witcher one. and I didn't read the book. Um, so I, I watched the show the first day it came out, uh, Friday, and um, I uh, my initial reaction. I I, I definitely um, I was excited, and uh, when I watched the first episode. I was pulled into it, um, and of course, like Jesse, like Mike, along the way, there was definitely there's some character development, especially for like Jennifer. There's like a strong character development for Jennifer. Like you really know um, the struggle that she went through and how she became Jennifer. Um, so I definitely say is she she seems like Jennifer seems like the the hero 
mm-hmm. of the uh, you know what? of that's, the story. That's right. Actually, like, the protagonist, the main you know, protagonist. Yeah, Jennifer is actually the most. Do we want to say that she's like the most developed character? In the yeah, whole I would say yeah. For she, sure. she's like, you see her background. I mean, you see her backstory. Basically. Yeah, we hear her backstory, and also at the end, she's like the one that's mustering, rallying everybody. He's like, hey. Uh, all the mages, all all the wizards, all the witches, you gotta get together, we know we gotta train these people, you know, the the, oh, actually, uh, the net guards are coming. They're, they're, sorry, let me stop you there. Do we yeah. wanna give spoilers at all? We won't do spoilers. We'll oh. just do our initial thoughts. Oh, okay, so, our initial thoughts. I mean, okay. it's not a big thing, but, yeah. okay. you know, but like I said, okay. Jennifer does, she, out of all the characters, I would say she has the more a, in like depth, strong there's in more depth. in depth yeah. in her backstory and uh-huh. her character development. You yeah, know? and and one of the things that I, I, I definitely agree, I had a concern with this, it was, li- it's it not linear, it, it did jump around, I, 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 remember, I think it was like episode 5, and uh, it was, it, it involved the law of surprise, you figure it out, yeah. but I was confused what was going on in there, I thought, Wait a second. What's going on? It seems like it's it went back in time, but it didn't tell me why it went back in time, yeah. or it didn't identify. It's like oh, 50 years earlier. See, right? that's that's what Jesse was talking about. Yeah. Was that one little thing that yeah. I felt like they should have had more direction with some with sort of the story. descriptive well, yeah, direction? That, that's what I think. Yeah. What Jess was saying that it did jump around a lot, and then it it, it obviously brings up some of those. Uh, topics you're bringing up right now, Ambiguous. and you don't know what it means, yeah. so you're like, what? What is this thing right here? Because yeah. it, it's it's so far ahead in the story that it takes time to get rolling to you understand it. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, so and and then one of the things I'd like to add is I know some people have the different opinions of thinking, oh, this is no, this is not a Game of Thrones killer, or this is the expectation it should be like Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. No one should put that in that same level. This is just The Witcher. You should not expect this to be the Game of Thrones killer. It should not be the Game of Thrones level. It, it, it's just The Witcher. Don't look at it as, a, as another as another possible and then you, Game of Thrones and being let down by it. Mm-hmm. Just watch it for what it is. So what's your rating then? One out of ten. Uh, my rating is um, I'm gonna say the same. I'm gonna probably say about eight point five out of ten. Okay, eight point five. Right on. Right on. Right on. Uh, and that's only because. Uh, um, I, I don't think because Jennifer did a great performance. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm not saying I'm biased because you know she. she it was definitely some uh, raunchy scenes, but yeah, I'm nudity, saying it. Some nudity. In yeah, there, but sure. I, I'm saying it because she, she she really stole the show, um, and she really did a great job. And Henry, he couldn't have been the better pick. For oh, the for Witcher. sure. Yeah. I definitely yeah. agree. Yeah. For me, like I said, which I did play the game. And I remember a lot because this is actually one of those games, Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt, yeah. is the game that actually overthrew my favorite game of all time, which is Zelda Ocarina of Time, oh, yeah. uh, Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah. and that's saying a lot too. Yeah, and that's, that's saying a lot because, yeah. like I said, no game I has agree. ever come close to dethroning that game for me until yeah. this game, where I have to put this game, Witcher 3, uh, Wild Hunt, over Ocarina of Time. Yeah, man. which m- many people consider a perfect game, a 10 out of 10, right? Uh, that's so, right. That's right. we're going with that, like I said, I will have to give this series, I'm going to start off with my score right away, uh-huh. an 8.5 also. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll give it 8.5 Matthew McConaughey's, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. So we have this going now, yeah. and like I said, I'm really excited to see where this story goes like yeah. I said I don't know where yeah. they're gonna take it I mean yeah. I, I'm play this game but this series actually in the season one has a bits and pieces so much potential, of like yeah said. it has so much potential so much. I didn't play the first two games or I didn't yeah. read the books yeah so there's some things I'm I am kind of lost in it I, I would admit it I'm re-watching yeah. it again and I hope to get it once I watch it more yeah. 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 To say. Yeah. like I said I could keep going on and saying how great it is. The visuals are awesome. Yeah. The killing scenes, the action. If yeah. you want an action packed, I mean, sometimes it does slow down because it yeah. takes time to develop these characters. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. we're trying to catch up to like three games almost all at once, whatever. Uh-huh. So it does take time, but once they get going, it does have those scenes where you do see the girl, you know, taking his sword out and just like, yeah, I want this guy just to like. Man, just kill these weak guys over here. They'll use his yeah. use his power because he does have powers and stuff like that. 
when you finally see it, yep. dude, I'm like, man, this guy is kind of like a, like a, um, like a Jedi in the brand because he does yep. have those powers where he does have like, like a force push. Oh but yeah, it's called, that's it's called, right. That's but right. It's called yeah. Ard, you know, Ard. Ard, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he has those powers, and I think he's a more badass version of the Jedi because yeah. he doesn't have those restraints as a Jedi does, like, I can't kill, da, 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 da. No, this guy's right. like, man, he's you like, come he's after He's like an outlaw, outlaw Like, he's yeah. an outlaw, basically. That's right, that's right. So, and he's like a hired, uh, you know, yeah. sword, basically. You know, he does jobs for a living, and he kills monsters for a living. So, he kills you, man, to get in his way. So, I really like that about that. And it has potential to be, I don't want to say Game of Thrones, like I said, because it shouldn't be considered yeah. Game you of Thrones. Yeah, you never watch a show like yeah. Game of Thrones. Don't, com don't compare it to it. It's its own thing. Yeah. I'm excited. Henry Carvel, he killed it. Jennifer, at first when I saw her, I'm not sure because the Jennifer in the game looks nothing like that. But I gave it a chance and, dude, her performance... I think stole season one, I think. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it actually made you care about it. There's that one scene. Actually, she stole my heart. She stole this guy's heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, she's working on my heart right now. She's chipping her way at it. I'm, I'm starting to like her a little bit more. But her performance and her acting is super great. Yeah. Like, dude, she, there's that one scene. Like, it, it's so believable when she's getting, like, you know, basically becoming, a, uh, I don't want to do spoilers, but... Just say like she's becoming a witch and she has to go through this one hectic trial or whatever she has to go in. It's it's the her acting ability is so great. Yeah. So I would recommend this series, Witcher season one. We're excited for season two. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't even think they said anything. Yeah. I mean, they renewed it already. They for definitely sure. renewed it right um, away. You know, uh, there's one thing that we forgot to mention. What's up? Uh, there's this one guy. Oh, oh the, bard. The, bard. the bard, the bard, man. And the bard, uh, man. He's like, yeah, he's badass. He's, he's such a, a random. Uh, I guess he's, you know, he, apparently he's in the book. Yeah, he is. Uh, and and uh, in the game, and um, in, in the first game too. And and the thing is that I, when I first saw him, I was just like, what an annoying guy. Yeah. But like, he's. And then when he started singing Toss a Point to the Witcher, so I cool. think I love that song. Dude, I trust That's you. That's a dude. great song. That is a great song right there. The same with like Rob in the beginning, like when he was uh, introduced as a character. Yeah. And I was like, wait, is this, is this guy going to be like the comic relief, slightly yeah, ir a little irritating bit. on the side? But then, yeah. as it progresses, you actually... You know, you kind, of, you kind of feel like he grows on you. Yeah, 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 he grows on you, and his singing, and just his being singing, like funny, a friend or a friend. Guess, sort of like not a comic friend. Release, well, because Geralt doesn't really have friends. He's like a friends. loner, yeah. and he just makes you believe that like this guy could be his friend. You but, know, but we, but we just can't. But he have... likes him too, but he doesn't like to say it, basically. It's like a comic relief, <laughs> exactly. yeah. yeah. Right? Like Geralt, movie. Geralt would never be like, "This is my best buddy." Uh, yeah. So he's like. Yeah. He's like, ugh, he's annoying, but like, he still cares about him, yeah. basically, what we're trying to say. That's right. Yeah, he right. definitely, like, say, is another standout in this uh, season one. Yeah. Uh, his his music is awesome. <laughs> like, he yeah. has two songs that are really good, whatever. Yeah. The one, obviously, Toss the Coin to Your Witcher. Yeah. And the other one is the one where she talks about the mage, about she'll steal your heart, or like, oh, she, oh, like yeah. or something like that, you know, which is another great song. But uh, we were to end this video because we've been rambling for a while now. Yeah, but this yeah. is a quick thought on what we think of The Witcher is, cool. and it's going to continue to get better. Yeah, we're going to develop a podcast yeah. down the road. Oh, you know, we have our kids right now trying to get in here, yeah. so, yeah. so we're going to end it here. Hey, right? Here they are. Hi, yeah. Bobby, say, say bye to the camera. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. See you guys later. All right. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year.